welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after. Just about ready to roll here. And today on the hill, Christian Javier. How about a report on him, Chris? Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. The right fielder. Starling Marte up to hit. Starling Marte. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. In the air, right field. Tucker should have it. Makes the grab, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. The 1-1. One, one. That's towards center. McCormick has it sized up. And that's the inning. And back here at the ballpark, today's starting pitcher, Justin Verlander. What do we need to know here? Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. They get him, but it was pretty close. Batting second. The designated hitter, Michael Brantley. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. That one hit to right. Marte moves under it. And there's two down. Here's Alex Bregman. The outfield the playing at the pole man. with the Alex. center fielder positioned in that left Bregman. center field gap. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Here's Jordan Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. And he deals. And strike two. Yeah, when you get to the big leagues, you think about you know filling up the back of your bubblegum card. This guy needs a couple of them to put all the accomplishments that he's had in his career. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Turning and looking and it's gone. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases. And that gives him a lead. It's 2-0. Jose Abreu up to hit. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Ground ball right side. Tosses to first. That's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball. Second inning set to go. Here's Pete Alonso. So after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Next offering misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. The designated hitter. Here's Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Okay. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity. You... And welcome back. Bottom Way half of inning number after. two. Here's Kyle Tucker. Right and down on strikes. One out. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Rolled over to third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And Runner! now Chaz McCormick. Tag C. Too late for the throw from Omar Narvaez. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Two out. Batting none. The catcher. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. In the air to left center. Canna makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Houston. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. Two and one now. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two now. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Bregman settles under it. And there's one away. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Swing and a miss. One and a count one and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Sit down on strikes. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Two outs, base is empty. Omar Narvaez will hit next. So now one and two. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The count two and one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. And there's a base hit to the left. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. In the air, right side. Marte racing over to make the catch. Now it's Alex Third Bregman. Season, Singled and scored his Alex. first time. Bregman. On the ground, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. As the pitcher brings it in for the out, and the runner advances to second. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. Here comes a pitch. And now one and two. Two 
On the ground, right side. Can't field it cleanly, but in time. Nice job to stay with it to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The center fielder, number nine. Brandon the pitch. That misses the zone. Three and one now. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And the next pitch is way outside. Fights it off, you'll see another. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found it. Got him swinging. Picks up strikeout number seven. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Three. Struck him out looking. Met strand one, and they're down. And welcome back. Bottom of the go. fourth. Four. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. Okay. The wind of the pitch. Abreu. This one in the air center field. Nimmo makes the play, and there's one away. And next to hit for Houston, Kyle Tucker. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Now a slow roller to second. McNeil handles the chance, whips it to first, and Tucker is retired. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a speed threat. Jeremy Pena. The pitch. Got him. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for Houston. They're up. To we go to the top of the fifth. Jeff McNeil stands in. The second baseman. Jeff. McNeil. Here's a 1 1. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a ball in two strikes. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Mark Canna. On the ground, two ball. Over to Altuve. And it's a double play to end the inning. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him. Chaz McCormick. Up next for the Astros. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So next up for Houston, Martin Maldonado. On the ground. Well, these Astros doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out. Oh, now this ball gets down. The run comes in from second, and they're up by three. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. 
Jose Altuve will touch them all. And they add a couple more. It's five zip. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Eliezer Hernandez. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now Michael Brantley steps in. Next offering is in for a strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. Marte makes the catch. One down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's got a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So, man aboard, you're Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. You're Don Alvarez blasts one out. He's done it again. His second homer of the game, and they add a pair. It's seven nothing. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul, but. Not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Right through there. Got right him. Fielder. Two Number gone 30. now. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at a... Uh... Hundred and twelve miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Pretty unique upbringing for Jeremy Pena, at least in terms of a kid who was born in the Dominican Republic, but then he moved to Rhode Island. Not exactly a baseball hot. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But the long ball was working. In Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. And now, Eduardo Escobar. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Righty to the plate. And now the count filled up three and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try and tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Omar Narvaez at the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swing and a miss. It's 2 and 2. On the ground right side. Altuve slings to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That one the other way. Tosses to first. Oh. Out number three. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Well, we go bottom six. Leading Here's the center fielder, Astros. Chaz McCormick. The center fielder. The 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Swing and a miss as he was one late. Two straight. The punch out there. One away. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. One for two. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Right-handed reliever. Maldonado tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. 
The 2 2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Jose Altuve up to it here. He's already homer here in this one. Jose Altuve. The next pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. And down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one. Top of inning number seven. Here's Starling Marte. Starling Marte. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Francisco Lindor, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. That one drifts inside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The 3 1. That one fouled off. So now 3 and 2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good no, question. Uh, Alonzo. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Hector Neris. Now, compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Breckman is under it. Up next for the net. The designated hitter. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Who's over two back. with a pair of strikeouts? The one-one. Fought off foul. The pitch. That's way cool. inside gets out of the way. Lindor at second. Alonso at first. Two out of the inning. Bounce to the right side. They take the force out. And that is the third out of the inning. Left for the Mets, not going their way. It's seven nothing. Left hand batter waits. That one is absolutely belted back there. It bangs off the wall, and that's a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And now it's Alex Bregman on the ground to third. Escobar handles on the run, sends it over to first, and they get Bregman for the out. The lucky number 44. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez, for the fourth time tonight. Ball to strike. They say it went.
that one down the line and it goes just foul. One out and a runner at second. Got him. And there's two down. Next to hit, Jose Abreu. 1-1 one, one now. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Well done. Drives in the run. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A new pitcher in the game, John Curtis. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. A run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. So digging in, Mark Canna. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Fly ball down the line. And that is a foul ball. Popped up. Altuve under it. Makes the grab. One down. Man at first. And the batter now, Omar Narvaez. Canna, the base runner at first with one out. That one the other way. Pena. Over to Altuve. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone now, right there. Just Better nasty. Field. Looks like a fastball yeah. thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batting. Catcher. And here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. One for three. And a 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. strikes that ends the frame Astros go down one two three we go to the ninth and now the center fielder Brandon Nimmo Brandon Nimmo Rafael Montero on the pitch here. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Out to short, Pena over to pick it up. Sends it across the first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. So up next for New York, Starling Marte. In the air right field. And it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. No, You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Marte stands at first with one out. Right side. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Pete Alonso takes him deep, and they're chipping away. It's 8 2. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The 1 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. In the air, out towards left center. It gets down a base hit, and that keeps the inning going. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. The 2-1. There's a strike. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. That's the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 8-2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show.